Hey guys, my name is Sinesh from my tutorial web and welcome to part 4 of this series of Visual Studio based on OpenGL. So on my previous video we compiled the basic words using the translate function and the rotate function. So the translate translates to 0.5 towards a positive x axis and rotates to an angle of 45 degree. So in this video will be a short video, we'll just rotate the quads, uh, we'll spin the quads by using the, the timer function. So we'll define angle as 45 since it's floating point number and we'll take the refresh mills which means it moves at a speed of in milliseconds let's take 1 milliseconds it refreshes at every 1 millisecond let's call a function called let's name this as void timer returns a value clut post redisplay and then the timer function it has the following parameters After this, since the load identity loads the current matrix, so let's load the current matrix into the stack GL push matrix. And after that, it translates and then it rotates at an angle of 45 degree. So since we have defined it as an angle, rename this as an angle. And at the end, let's pop the matrix. So at the first 45 degree, it gets into the stack and then we pop the matrix. Now again, in order to rotate the matrix, we need to change the angle. So instead of GL flush, we need to swap, swap the buffers so let's use let's swap buffers ok now once you pop the matrix we again need to change the angle so we'll increment an angle by let's take 0 0.2 so it means at first it's 45 degree and then after in the second iteration it becomes 45.2, 45.4 and so on. Let's call the timer function. It has the following parameters the timer function and then 0 yes guys so we just define an angle of 45.0 degree initially assigning it has to be as global and then this actually shifts at a at the speed of 1 millisecond every 1 millisecond that uh, it means that initially the matrix goes into the push matrix and and then it pops out in at the time of 1 millisecond and, uh, and once again when it pops out it remains at its original position that's 45 degree and then increments at an angle of 45.2 and then 45.4 and so on so this was done now let's compile Debug start debugging. You can see it rotates 
I forgot you to mention that it rotates the angle. Actually, the rotation angle is in the counterclockwise direction. It's an anti-clockwise direction. That's because we have specified the z-axis to be at as one. One is actually towards the towards the user. If you specify it as minus one, it'll spin inside. That's uh, towards the screen, and it'll be clockwise direction. Let's build, build solution, debug, start debugging. Yes, you can see it spins clockwise direction. So this was just a basic thing. Uh, we'll just go in the future tutorials with circles and, and other 3D stuff. If you have any questions, comments or concerns, go and post it below. I'm pretty good at getting back to everybody. If you like it, do like it and most importantly, do share this video. Thank you.